Tax filing season begins at the end of the month, and local law enforcement says this year they are putting more resources than ever before to protect taxpayers from identity theft. Investigator Michael George shows us the new fight against fraud and how you can avoid being a victim. It's a claim to fame Tampa shouldn't be proud of. I believe uh, nationwide we are the, the leading area for refund fraud uh, in the country. Identity thieves have made millions off of taxpayers in Tampa Bay. Law enforcement calls it an epidemic, and we've been reporting on it for years. Deputies arrested 11 of the 19 suspects today. Federal agents removed big ticket items from this home. Operation Rainmaker intercepted 100 million tax dollars. And almost anyone can be a victim. Criminals buy stolen social security numbers, use them to file tax returns, and collect the refunds. The victims don't find out until they file their own returns. We got a note saying that my social security has already been used. In the past, ID thieves have openly bragged about the cash and the cars they're pulling in. But law enforcement has a new plan that hopes to put an end to the free ride. You're going to see a lot more arrests, a lot more prosecution, and... Uh, I think that the community as a whole is going to see a big difference. For the first time, the IRS is working with local agencies like the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office, giving them access to tax records so they can track down the ID thieves. Now when we have the IRS embedded with our department, uh, we're able to get that information back quicker. Uh, the sooner we can get that information back, we can act on it. Tampa Police, the Hillsborough Sheriff's Office, and the IRS are also putting more manpower to work on tax fraud cases. You know, it allows us to have more agents out in the field uh, identifying these crimes, investigating these crimes. The new task force doesn't expect to end Tampa's tax fraud problem. I'll take you to the page. But they hope to put a big dent in it. We're going to do whatever we can to put a stop to it. And there's something you can do to protect yourself, too. File your tax return early. If the IRS already has it, it's much more likely they'll be able to spot a fake one. I'm IT Team Investigator Michael George taking action for you.